Yeah, the visa is pretty simple to get there. You apply online and it takes 50 minutes until you get it. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Good morning, all my beautiful people. Another day, another opportunities. Yeah, so I'm on my way to see them. I'm just not gonna crash into that car. So I'm gonna go to see them. So from Mamutlar to see them, it's around an hour, I think, to go, so it's not that far. But there, I will travel back in time. I will. Um, go to the Asian city over there so yeah as I said we're gonna travel back in time we're gonna go and watch some ruins and some pretty incredible history over there we got to go to the theater we got to go to the hospital we got to go to different kind of ruins I'm very curious and the weather is pretty awesome today very, very nice. So it's basically a highway, highway, highway. But I have uh, 35 minutes left until I see the you know that I'll stay in Mamutlar in this apartment and I've been staying here for a little while. It's because I I need to prepare myself for Middle East. Uh, I have to look up everything, you know, to see so it's correct because I will I will go to Iraq as the first first country in Middle East that will go to the Kurdistan area and uh, yeah, the visa is pretty simple to get there. You apply online and it takes 50 minutes until you get it. But it doesn't include a federal visa. That's the only problem. Because Iraq is divided in two parts. The Kurdistan Iraq and the federal Iraq. So the Kurdistan uh, visa you get, it's not valid for the federal. So that's the issue. So when I go from the Kurdistan, Iraq, I will we'll cross the border to the federal. I have an issue because I can't take the visa on arrival on the border by land. So what people do over land here is they take a flight from uh, Erbil to Baghdad and they get the visa on arrival with a flight. But yeah, it's like a 50-50% chance that you get it. Some have the, some had no success, and uh, they get denied the visa, and it's just a uh, hassle, you know. So that's why I'm a little bit nervous about. I'm not trying to figure out if there are ways, other ways to get into Federal Iraq. So one option is to go to a consulate in Ankara and get it there. So if you get the visa, you get it for both Kurdistan and for Federal. So you have no issue. And yes, it is a risk I'm taking to go to Iraq because things are happening there. It is. Don't let the fear get away of your dreams. There was ruin starts a little bit to see over there. Wow. Must have been a bridge or something. This is so beautiful. Oh, that's the theater, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Have a look at this. The ancient city. So they were the Greeks that came here and started all this. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I mean the buildings, look at them! How old are these things? 
The cedar sign. Right here we have the Apollo Temple. Pretty amazing. Indeed. How cool isn't this? Imagine people have been walking here, they have they lived here. It's insane. For a long time ago, and you know see there? Right now it's a really like a tourist spot, so you have resorts everywhere. And then you go back in time and look like this. <laughs> So this city dates back in the 8th century BC. That's way, way, way back in time. <laughs> and I read that this city was named before Sida, it was named the Prom Grenade. They're having a photo session over there. I don't want to go and disturb them. They have this really nice dress and costume on. Oof. I had to get rid of my favorite sweater. It was so warm with that fleece. Oof. Oh, has some shade here. Great. I need something to drink. So let's go and find that. Juice. Mm. Uh, I found um, a restaurant, fish restaurant, I want to, to visit. So I'm um, planning to go there and see what they have on the menu, eat a little bit and then we go to the beach. that Urfe, Urfe kebab was very good, even though I didn't get my fish. They didn't have any fish or shrimps. I wanted shrimps. Yeah, yeah, it was delicious anyway. Plan for now? Beach. Beach time! wanted to go for a swim but it was one of the locals stopped me and said like hey don't go into the sea right now because there are some dangerous jellyfishes here <laughs> I'm not supposed to go into the water I think what do you think what do you think so the whole journey from the north of Sweden the Arctic Circle Uden, down to the Antalya region has been so much fun, but very intense, uh, intense trip. I've been driving and driving and driving, 
uh, without too many stops. So yeah, here in Turkey I took at least, yeah, it's been like three longer stops for me now. When I arrived in Istanbul it was for a week basically and then I went to, oof, what's the place called? Yeah, Göreme, Cappadocia. And that place was super super nice and I stayed there for a while and then I went down to the Antalya, Mamutlar, where I'm now. And I really needed that. I needed to stop a little bit and just reflect and get back my energy a little bit as well. And fix videos, because I'm a beginner at this, you know? I, I haven't done this before. So it takes a little while for me to, to get into the routine and everything, but it's slowly getting better. And I know I have problems with my microphone, the audio a lot, and it's been really stressful. But it is what it is. It can only be better gets better but overall the journey has been fantastic now it's getting a little bit colder so i ordered heated gloves and a heated vest so i will have that one for probably now here in turkey and iraq it's gonna be cold and then when i come to the mountains in pakistan and nepal and all that it's india it's gonna be cold so i have that it's great so iraq iraq is the next destination after this and uh, if I'm scared of going to Iraq, yeah, a little bit. I know I, I grew up with a with a picture in my mind that Iraq is bombs, terror, war, craziness. So of course all that is glued into my mind. But I'm so curious because. I heard a different story about Iraq as well, which is the one I want to experience. And I talked with a lot of overlanders and travelers who are there right now traveling that country. And they say it's amazing, fantastic people. And that's what I want to explore. I see the culture, the food and all that. It's not only the, the bad things, bombs and wars or whatever it's people say. I mean, it's, it's a risk I take going to, to Iraq, I know but I'm willing to do it. Bye bye beautiful beach! <laughs> that looks amazing when I'm sitting here. So let's go back to Mamutlar. What a lovely day I had at sea, that was so nice to walk around that Asian city and just imagine yourself back in a time. And then go to the beach, hang out there, even though I couldn't swim, but it was nice to sit on the beach and relax a little bit. And a beautiful drive, of course. So, a really good day. Thank you so much for joining my adventure from Sweden to Nepal. Like, comment, subscribe, share and join my Patreon family as well. It's more behind the scene and exclusive material there. Take care and I see you soon!